set up a campaign in REI Reply. investing people this is JC Dan again your real estate investing marketing queen if you're new to this channel please hit the subscribe button below so you get notified whenever I have new videos so for today's video we will cover how you can actually create a campaign in REI reply in just under seven minutes but before that what is a campaign really a campaigns or campaigns are automated sequence of events that you can actually set up within your systems. These are the automated SMS messages, ringless voicemails, emails, and even Facebook chats to generate leads while you're actually running your business. So let's go ahead and right jump into how you can do that within the CRM. To create a basic campaign, the first step is to navigate to automation from REI Reply. From this section, you can go ahead and select campaign beside workflows. And from this window, you'll have to go ahead and select create campaign in the top right corner and a pop-up window will actually appear to give your campaign a name so for this sample i'm just going to go ahead and select test one although my recommendation is to actually name your campaign based off the date when you're launching it and at the same time the list that you're actually working on so for this example say today is august 3 i'm going to do august 3 2022 and let's say i'm working on vacant list texas so that's how i would name this campaign you will have an option to select a folder to organize your campaign. So for me, I organize it by month. So I'm going to say August of 2022, then click save. Now your campaign is created. The second step is to set up your campaign configuration. Here, you can actually expand this drop-down menu and you will see different options to set up your campaign. So here, you'll have a window that you can toggle on and off. When this is on, this will allow you to create a specific conditions for time frame. So maybe you only want to run your campaign between Mondays, Wednesday, Friday, between 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., then you can do that. The acceptable time frame is to send between 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., depending on your market's local time. But, you know, when this is on, that means that that is the day that it, you have selected within your window. The next option is assigning a user into your campaign. It's important to remember that when you wanted to do round-robin campaign, and assigning a user or basically selecting the user here helps the system decide which phone number to use on your campaign. So it's important that you have that selected. Now, if you also wanted to set up a next campaign, this means when somebody's done going through all of the events that you have set up in this campaign, then they would automatically be placed in the second campaign. For us, we don't normally set up campaign. That's because we already have a workflow set up for our business. Now, when you're running email campaigns, it's important that you do add or provide from name or from email address in this area. You also can add lead values and tags whenever a contact is added to this campaign. Now, the next important option is being able to toggle on and off, allow multiple. So this option allows or not allows somebody to be in the same campaign multiple times. So when this is on, you're basically allowing a contact to be on multiple campaigns. For us, it's always turned off because we don't want them to be in multiple campaigns. Now you can also toggle on and off stop response. It's very self-explanatory because this one is recommended that it's always on. So like when somebody respond to an SMS, an event, then they will no longer receive the next SMS. So this basically stop any subsequent communications. Lastly, is going to be the event start date the event start date field allows you to build automation around a specific date and time so like once you set the event start date all the items in that campaign can be sent in relation to that day and time using the before action in each campaign or step although for us we don't normally use the event start date that's because we process our campaigns on the drip mode options in the contact i mean the campaign option so that is the time or event start time that the system would actually follow. So now that you're done, you know, setting up your campaign configuration, you can go ahead and click on save any changes that you've made. And now for the final step, you can actually add multiple events into your campaign. Remember that there are many different things you can add or you can do with events. These are some of the events you can actually do. So these are basically the activities you want to happen within your specific campaign. So like if you want to send automatic SMS, then you can do SMS. If 
if you want them to be added on a manual cold calling, you can do manual cold calling. For this example, let's just say you want to do one SMS and after that you want them to be added in a manual cold calling campaign. So to do that, you can click on SMS. In this window, you can see that you can actually pick a template. If you do have a template, you can decide to basically just type in a message in this blank field and you can use different custom values to use smart contact options or features and this will allow the system to like pick any information in your contact field so like hey first name are you looking to sell your property and then you can use property address for the contact right so like property one and then as you can see on the right hand this section you can actually see a preview of whatever you're typing in this area so you get to name your sms whatever you'd want to name it here you can see also like the number of characters and how much exactly it's going to cost you for you to send this campaign remember that rea applies actually powered by Leo for sms and text marketing so you know if it's below, you can check Twilio pricing to see how much it's going to cost if it's more than 160 Once that's done, you can actually go ahead and save. So after that, you can add another event. Say if you want to add like after they receive a text message, you want them to be added in a manual call, then you can do that, right? As you can see, we also have here a time frame, like when this is going to run. So you have an option to run this events after, before, immediately, a specific time after a minute after this event or hours or days it is important to note that this time frame runs off the previous action so this means that this manual call will actually happen let's say you want this to be done when they receive the text after one day you want them to be added in a manual campaign so that's how it's actually going to work this time frame always runs off the previous action in terms of the initial event i would always want to do after zero minutes instead of immediately that way it actually follows the event start time when i've launched the campaign because whenever you added a contact into this campaign and you have set up immediately then it immediately adds them or sends them this text message instead of actually waiting zero minutes from the start time that was selected in your campaign settings so there you go we've set up simple campaign you always have an option to add more events and then to come back to change your campaign once you're satisfied with your setup you want to go ahead and make sure to switch this from draft to publish to activate your campaign that's it